My name is Miss Nina and today I'm going to talk to you about my instrument, the recorder. I bet you've seen a recorder before, have you? Now the recorder is a wind instrument which means we use our air to make sound, we blow into it like this. And it's got a big range, that means it's got lots of notes from low notes, middle notes, all the way to high notes. Actually, did you know that the recorder isn't just an instrument, it's a whole family of instruments. And just like in a people family, you have smaller ones and bigger ones. So this is a desk and it's one of the smaller ones. And then they get, you've got one that big, and then the smallest one is about the size of my pen, which is called a Gachlein. And then you have bigger recorders. So this is the next size up, as you can see it's quite a bit bigger. Well, that's a treble. Uh, but there are quite a few other sizes bigger and at the end of this video I'm going to show you a photo of the biggest recorder of all! I know! Exciting! So stick around for that. Now, I'm going to show you how to play two notes on the recorder and if you have a recorder, why not give it a go? So the recorder has lots of holes on the body of it which you're going to use your fingers to cover. One side has a hole by itself so you're going to cover that hole with your left thumb and that faces you, it's the back of the recorder. And then the first hole at the front you're going to cover with your first finger, that's your index finger, the one you use to point. With your other hand you're just going to make a shelf to hold the recorder up. Now when you blow I want you to think about the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. One porridge was too hot, one porridge was too cold and the other one was just right. So you don't want to blow too hard otherwise you'll make a horrible squeak. And you don't want to blow too soft otherwise you're going to sound like a mouse. You want to blow just right, like this. And that's the note B. Then if you add your next finger on the next hole, so you have two fingers at the front, you have A. And if you move just that finger between B and A, you can make all sorts of songs. Or an ambulance. Now I'm going to play a little piece for you and I want you to use your ears to see if you can figure out what it's about. The piece is named after an animal but I'm not going to tell you what animal until the end. So listen to it really, careful, really carefully and see if you can figure out what animal it might be. Here we go. So, what did you guess? Shall I tell you? The piece is called the nightingale. And the nightingale, if you don't know, is a bird that sings a lot. Did it sound bird-like? Did you hear all those all those trills that were a bird? Excellent. Now, I'm going to cut the video short here, I'm afraid. But, as I promised, here is the picture of the biggest recorder that exists. And it's called a sub-contrabass recorder. Ready? Whoa! It's huge! Hope you enjoy that. Bye!